In other news, a group of Korean scientists thinks it has discovered a genetic link that could unlock the secret to preventing cancer and even slowing aging. Our Paul Lee explains this groundbreaking research and what it means for the future of medicine. This three-dimensional image shows a scanned cross-section of human bone marrow, marking out the various types of stem cells in the body. Hemotopoeic stem cells in particular have been the focus of intense study here at the Korea Research Institute of Bioscience and Biotechnology. These special stem cells give rise to new red and white blood cells, making it a crucial component of the body's immune system. Dr. Chung Hae-yong, lead researcher at the Institute's Immunotherapy Research Center, says his team was able to identify a genetic mechanism that maintains this biological balance. During our research of the mechanisms that induce aging, we found out that the TXNIP gene and a protein called P53 interact with each other. We were able to identify that this interaction plays a key role in antioxidization. TXNIP is a gene that is typically found in hematopoietic stem cells and regulates the expression of the tumor-suppressing protein P53. By working together, they inhibit and repair the damage from oxidative stress, a natural buildup of toxins that can lead to cancer, heart failure, and Alzheimer's disease. In animal testing, mice that lack the TXNIP gene die just after seven days, whereas the mice in the control group had normal lifespans. Researchers found that the gene-deficient mice had up to 90% less hematopoietic cells and up to 40% more oxidative stress-related compounds. The results confirm that the TXNIP gene helps slow the aging of stem cells and prevents cancer development. We were able to identify the genes that play an important role in processes such as in the reduction of immune cells and blood cells. The results of this study will be used for future research in immune regulation, aging and cancer treatments. The groundbreaking study was published online this month in the international scientific journal Cell Metabolism, laying the foundation for future medical research. Paul Yi, Arirang News.